Okay, in today's video, we are going to do potential difference problem number three. And in this problem, we are going to calculate the amount of kinetic energy that an electron gains as it moves through a potential difference. You can see here, we have our electron. It is against this negative plate. It doesn't want to be there. Okay, in order to get it there, we had to do some work and gave it some potential energy. But we're going to release it. We're going to let it go. It's going to move across to that positively charged plate. And we want to know how much kinetic energy does it gain. So let's read the problem. We have a picture tube. It has an electron. And then through that picture tube, an electron is going to be accelerated through a potential difference of 23,500 volts. And we want to know what is the change in kinetic energy of that electron as it moves from this potential to this higher potential of 23,500 volts. Okay, now you should remember that when we have a charge, a negative charge against a negative plate, or if we had a positive charge against a positive plate, that that, potent, that that charge has some potential energy. It doesn't want to be there. Just like in mechanics and gravitational potential energy, when you raise something up and you hold it up, it doesn't really want to be there because if you let it go, it's going to fall back to Earth. Well, this charge, negative charge, doesn't want to be across, excuse me, against this negative plate. And when we release it, it's going to fall back down to this positive plate. And in doing so, in this case, it's going to move through a potential difference of 23,500 volts. Now, you should remember this equation from what your professor told you, from what your teacher told you, what you read in your textbook, or possibly from the fact that it is on your AP physics equation sheet. This equation tells us that the change in potential energy, the change in electric potential energy, is equal to the amount of charge times the potential difference through which that charge is moved. So this charge, you could just kind of assume it was originally down here, right? right where it originally was sitting on Earth sitting on this positively charged plate where a negative electron likes to be because that's attracted by the opposite charge. It's something, some force was applied to it to move it over here and gave it some potential energy. Or even if we sent it in this way through this plate and accelerate it down this way to this positive plate, we can still calculate the potential energy by the amount of charge and the difference okay, of the potential through which that charge was moved. Now, when we release this charge from this negative plate, it's going to move towards this positive plate, and it's going to lose its potential energy. It's going to lose its height. It's going to lose its distance. And as it loses potential energy, it's going to gain kinetic energy. And right here, right before it strikes this plate, this positive plate, it has no more distance, no more height, no more separation. That means it has no more potential energy no more electric potential energy. But what happened to all that electric potential energy? You guessed it. As you remember from conservation of energy, okay, we move that charge across like that. It's going, all that potential energy is going to be converted into kinetic energy. So if the change in potential energy is equal to Q times the potential difference, and it loses all that potential energy, then Q times the potential difference is also equal to the amount of kinetic energy that it gains. Lose potential, gain kinetic as it goes downhill, so to speak. Now, all we got to do is plug the values in. The change in kinetic energy is equal to the charge on an electron, which you can look up on your equation sheet, or you can look up in your textbook, or you can look up online, times the potential difference, 23,500 volts. You multiply those together, and you get 3.75 times 10 to the 15 joules. As that charge moved across that potential difference. It gained 20, excuse me, it gained 3.75 times 10 to the minus 15 joules of energy. Now, of course, you could use that to calculate the velocity of the charge, which we're not going to do in this video. You could also assume that right before we released it, it had 3.75 times 10 to the minus 15 joules of potential energy. And you could also assume that that was the same amount of work was done in getting that charge, not down here, but getting that charge up to this place. And then the field would do that same amount of work 
moving it across. Okay, so all those things I kind of like to think of, in a sense, are equal to each other. The change in potential energy, the change in kinetic energy, and the amount of work that are, is done. Okay, so thank you. I hope you found that video helpful in kind of clarifying some things for electric potential energy and potential difference. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up or give me a comment either way, yes or no, that was good, that was bad, in the comment section. I love to hear what you think about my videos and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.